We will start this morning's session with an expression of interest. What we foresee is that the end toroids day can move. I will present the Atlas letter of intent. The presentation will be structured as follows. Overall dimensions, in this case, typically 30 meters in length. So many universities and uh, laboratories have dedicated a huge amount of effort to make uh, this dream come a reality. The success is not if the machine runs, the success is if the machine and the experiments run. All of us, as soon as we saw these events, we immediately realized that we made a big jump in energy. And which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the Atlas and CMS experiments at ETSAND Large Hydrogen Collider. What I think was the biggest challenge, uh, in, uh, not only in ATLAS, but, but in the other experiments, was just to get this large, larger group of institutes together and to find a compromise or a way of getting the uh, optimum or maximum contributions from them. Nobody is really forced to be on an experiment, so we didn't want to lose people. So uh, it was very important to have a consensus building and processes which were transparent. When you have a very challenging, complex, compelling scientific challenge, it tends to require a wide range of expertise. And that is for uh, where collaborations come in and what we have been doing uh, hopefully quite successfully here at CERN for, for many decades now. It is always extremely good to get exposed to different new points of view because it really keeps you on your toes and allows you to continue learning and as such I have learned a lot since I joined ATLAS. Well the collaborative spirit in ATLAS and I'm sure it's very similar in, in the other uh, sister experiments is about really making sure that despite the large size of a collaboration extending to thousands of people that the individual voice gets heard. That is what kind of sets the scene for a collaborative spirit where everybody, even if we are talking about thousands of people, everybody has an opportunity to get their voice heard. When I initially joined as a um, master's student and I go to a meeting, and I am able to give uh, to be given an opportunity to talk about my work. Then in, within the subgroup, then I saw, yeah, I, I, you know, I do have a voice in this collaboration. But of course, these subgroups are small. But then as I progressed in my career, and then I was given other opportunities, like to give talks on behalf of the whole collaboration. And I was like, yeah, this is an inclusive collaboration, and they give everyone an opportunity to have a voice. My favorite moments are when you give voice to an idea that's not very good, but it inspires a better idea in someone else, and then you can refine it. You end up with something that's more clever or powerful than either of you could have done on your own. When I joined Atlas in 2018, the thing that surprised me the most was how open everybody was and how welcoming they were. I felt that I was being introduced to something that was bigger than just a research group, let's say. Being in such a big collaboration is always an adventure. It means learning to understand different styles of work, different methods of collaboration, and my favorite part, tasting many different cuisines from around the world. I can really feel involved when my ideas are implemented to improve some things in the Atlas collaboration. Something you come to learn when joining Atlas is that our diversity of perspective is a huge strength. I've learned that you can get pretty far by communicating with an open mind and remembering that we're all working towards a common goal.
initial design was essentially for, roughly speaking, 10 years of high luminosity. Um, there are clearly systems which, uh, which are aging, which some of them one can replace in the upgrades, and this is being done. Uh, some of them we have to have good faith that they will manage to stay alive until then. What I would largely think is a success of the LHC experiment is that the community is somewhat believing and enthusiastic to, to do what they want to do and then they are also willing to put in a lot of extra efforts. I hope the Atlas experiment keeps innovative for the future, providing a good amount of chances, opportunities, or challenges for new things in the uh, detector operations system upgrade and also the implementation of uh, new ideas uh, in the physics analysis. I would expect the collaboration to grow even more and to, to welcome new people from more places because I think that's always great to get even more young people to, to join us and to expand in every direction. The beauty of collaborative science is that what matters is ideas, not who they come from. You always have a voice. Be confident enough to use it. Put yourself out there and um, jump at every opportunity that comes your way. I hope that that spirit of, of real collaboration in the true sense as, as we uh, have learned to define and, and practice it, that spirit would follow and continue. Happy birthday, Atlas! Woohoo!